Now, uh, you must understand, uh, what does the word yantra mean to you? Yantra, a machine, it's a machine or it's a tool. The power of the tool is what has rendered the human being to become dominant on this planet. If we did not know how to use tools, probably a colony of ants would dominate us, that's a fact. If you did not know how to use a tool, you don't need tigers. See, tiger needs protection in the world today because human beings can use tools. Always the imagery that people are trying to create is a tiger means that's it. But tiger needs to be saved from these puny human beings because they can use tools. The tiger cannot use tools or does not know how to use tools. So it's the tools or the machines that we built which has made us who we are. And what is the… what is this type of machines we have built? Every machine that we have built is only an extension of the existing faculties that we already have. Because I can speak, there is a microphone, there is a telephone. Because we can see, there is a microscope, there is a telescope. Because we can walk, we came up with a bicycle and every other form of locomotion. Suppose we were made like trees, rooted in one place, would we make bicycles, I'm asking? Hmm? Everything that we have done, every tool, every machine that we have created is only an extension of what we already can do. What you cannot see from here, you use a telescope and you are able to see something far away. Without the tool, you would not be capable of doing it. When I refer to Devi that you are talking about or Dhyanalinga as a tool, people, Devi Bhaktas will say, Sadhguru, don't say that. Devi is more than our mother. You can't say it's a tool. I said, okay, you have such a problem, you come to the ashram, three days you stay here, I will give you plumbing job. No spanners, no winches, no tools. You use your hands, your teeth, whatever you want. In three days' time, you would have lost half your fingers and teeth. After three days you come to me, I'll give you one spanner. Will you worship the spanner or not? <laughs> this is the power of the tool. So you need to understand this, this is a godless country. But we have thirty-three million gods and goddesses because we know the technology of God-making. Yes? We started creating energy forms that they will function in a specific manner. And we can create energy forms which can recognize you as a person. We can create general forms which will benefit everybody or we can create specific forms which will recognize you as a person. You know you have heard of Kula Devatas. What this means is, it is calibrated in such a way, it will recognize the genetic material of who you are. And it will only work for you if you belong to that genetic material. If you are somebody else, it will not work for you. We've gotten all mixed up and we don't understand this anymore properly, nor is it done properly, that's a different matter. But fundamentally, we can create this. Oh, this looks like real mumbo-jumbo. Well, there are any number of things that have happened in this country, but unless it gets a recognition from the West, it cannot be true, okay? You heard of Ramaj Ramanujam. Ramanujam wrote mathematical theorems a little over hundred years ago, nobody could decipher what they are. In 2010, they found out some of the theorems that he wrote are actually describing the black holes. When he wrote this in 1910 or 19, uh, 1908, when he wrote this theorem, there was no concept of black hole in the scientific community. But he made a theorem for the black hole. 
So people asked him, he just sat down on his bed, even on his deathbed, he sat down and simply poured out mathematics. People asked, where is this coming from? He said, my Devi, all I do is appeal to my Devi and it just pours out for me. What these deities are, if they are properly consecrated, if the necessary science has gone into it, is they are windows to the existence. You can open up a certain window and access the cosmos in different dimensions. So for different aspects of life, we created different type of tools or machines. So in India, all deities are also referred to as yantras. But then the bhakti moment came. When the bhakti moment came, a bhakta or a devotee does not care for science. His emotion is everything. So anybody who could find a stone and a little chisel, they started making their own things without the necessary science behind it. So the entire thing got skewed very badly because of the bhakti movement, because that's a different kind of movement. Otherwise then, this entire process is a very profound science. It's uh, not just you, there are thousands of people, those who have this avigna yantras in their homes and offices, if you listen to their stories, you won't believe things that are happening to them. Because this is a powerful tool, you just have to learn to use it. If you learn to use it, it functions phenomenally well. The best thing that you can do is you transform this itself like that. But this will need some work. If you're willing to work, we can consecrate you. I can make you like a living walking temple if you want. The easiest thing to consecrate is a living human being. But the problem with the human beings is every two minutes they will take a U-turn. So we are choosing stones and other material who are more reliable than you. <laughs>